The object I chose was V838 Monocreotis or V838 Mon. Now, V838 is a red supergiant star that's about 20,000 light years from Earth. It is near the constellation Monoceros, and Monoceros is sandwiched between Gemini, Orion, Canis Minor, and Canis Major, and is very faint. It also looks like a very bad W. V838 also is surrounded by a giant dust cloud, or dust shell. These shells are formed because V838 is what's called a nova. A nova is a star that towards the end of its life starts to give off some of its matter, like, it, like a planetary nebula, but the star hasn't actually died yet, and this matter forms shells around the star. However, there are several things about V838 that make it special. The first is that scientists have determined that the dust cloud is quite cool, and they also have determined that the dust cloud isn't moving around very much. Both of these th things mean that the dust cloud has been around for a while, meaning that V838 didn't give it off when it was fairly old, and thus they can't classify V838 as a normal nova. A nova works like this. Basically, the star starts to give off these pulses, and each of these pulses is sort of like a nuclear bomb going off inside the star. Each of these, each of these pulses is basically a shockwave which shoots out matter and spreads it around the star, and then the matter forms a giant shell of dust and gas around the star. V838 also gives off what are known as light echoes. Light echoes are flashbulb-like pulses of light that are given off by the star that spread around and illuminate anything around the star. And these light echoes is what allowed us to see the dust cloud that surrounds V838. Also, when V838 gives off a light echo, it becomes 600,000 times more luminous than the star normally is, which is what allows us to see the star itself. One final interesting fact about V838 is that if you take the image of it and rotate it 90 degrees to the left, it sort of looks like the Firefox logo. And that is all there is to know about V838 Monocreotis.